Hey, what's up everybody? This is P. Sharma from Speed Academy. And in this video, we're gonna do a quick introduction to what CSS is and little bit of history behind it. So what is CSS? Well, CSS is a start saving style sheet. So let me show you an example of website which uses CSS. Uh, CSS allows us control of the design of the layout of the website development. It allows us uh, to do styling of navbar, headers, font, and all the stuff you saw when you open up a website. As you can see in my website that I have used the over effect in my navbar. When I use my when I point my cursor on the navbar icon, it gets highlighted in some diff background get highlighted in some different color. And I have also given the transparency to my button. In this way you can style your web page by which your web page look more attractive and, and when the user open up your website it find this more attractive and comfortable so we spend more time on it so styling not just uh, only allow us to style your web page bec uh, just because of your styling your user uh, spend more time on your website you can also generate a good revenue from uh, the google adsense or some sponsor of which sponsor your website for any purposes we are in version 3 of css css when first introduced in the earlier 90s it introduced very basic things like adjusting the font size and color of things huh. in this web design it is little bit easier but it was very very limited and i really didn't gain any interaction with browsers to the earlier 20s when export 5.0 came up in the Mac and suppose over 99% of CSS one and it was really a big deal for that time uh, and then CSS2 will come out in which was awesome as it introduced a lot of things like positioning Z and X axis which allows a web designer to place element on a web page literally anyone they wanted to so uh, let me show you an example of css2 website it was difficult for me to find it over the internet as now all web developers are using css3 as all of you can see on a screen that this is an example of a website which is built in css2 as you can see the we have used in the heading tag and tables and just simply uh, use the background color property and color properties and the set alignment property and we have created a table and just simply added an image over it so this is just a nutshell and we are covering css3 and how to apply it in a real world website all right so that's in it the video so let's just get rocking some css3 so till then guys keep practicing and leave a like and do comment also because your like and comments only tell me that you are getting whatever I am teaching and motivates me to make such kind of videos in future. Till then stay safe, keep practicing. Bye bye.